morning. It's about 9 a.m. As you can see from my face, I just woke up. I was thinking today I'm gonna make video how does my life look like and how does life of a professional app worker slash video creator on YouTube and TikTok looks like. The realistic way. I've seen many of these day in the life videos and everybody is just about free time activity, about eating food outside. But there is no work actually, so I want to show you how much work is actually involved. Maybe you get an idea if this is for you. Or maybe you're just interested in what I'm doing. I know I literally just said that other videos are about free time activities, but my day actually starts with going climbing. But I promise you there's gonna be more work involved later. So I'm ready to go. Yes, I'm going in my climbing clothes. It's just 10 minute bike ride right away. Let's go. Hey guys, I'm back. Obviously it was a stage show and camera wasn't waiting for me here for about two hours that I was away. All right, it's now 2 p.m. And I'm starting to realize while all these videos don't have that much work included. I guess I was planning this video to be mostly about work, but actually I spent like half day going climbing, and then making my lunch, cleaning the house that I didn't film. But I have still a lot of stuff to do, I have some client work waiting for me, I need to film like two branded videos, so I better start working, so let's get into it. Alright, so now it's 3 p.m. I spent past hour doing some administration, going through my emails, going to my social media channels, my upward messages, seeing what happened overnight. Because I'm right here in Europe and usually when I go to sleep, a lot of people send me a message, either wanting to work with me or wanting a promotion on my social media. And usually I get about 5 to 10 messages like this per day, so I need to filter it and see what I want to do. Because it's just me and I cannot handle everything. And usually these things are casinos and uh, cryptos and I don't want to promote stuff like that or some clients that they want to work with me on motion design projects but they are actually offering very low rate and I don't have time or or willingness to actually do it now I have to do some actual work I'm gonna work for my client I just got an email from another client I guess I cannot say much about them because there is a huge NDA and, but we are basically creating a logos for TV shows it's a lot of fun to do I'm doing it for the past four years okay I'm gonna blur the screen because I cannot show anything let's go all right so now it's 5 p.m. And I spent past two hours working on these logos for my client. And actually maybe I didn't work for a whole two hours. I got a little bit distracted with online shopping and uh, my TikTok feed. So maybe one and a half hours of work. Now I'm gonna move to making videos for TikTok. I need to write three scripts for branded videos. And then I have to edit some of the classic Photoshop videos. I've been on holiday for the past 14 days and I just returned like two days ago and I still haven't posted anything. So I don't really expect these videos doing that well. But you gotta do what you gotta do. So I'm gonna post some of them and let's see how it goes. The 
couple of weeks ago, somebody asked me how do I do these Photoshop videos that if I have some automatic software that always zooms into the action. And actually, no, this guy is the automatic software. I have to keyframe everything. I have to do all the zooms. But if you are interested in what I use, since I'm paying for the Photoshop, to make these videos and also for my work I have also access to Premiere Pro so I edit everything in Premiere Pro or in After Effects for my branded videos where there are more complicated animations. My video is almost done so I'm gonna just finish it. I'm gonna try to time it exactly to one minute so I can post it to both TikTok and YouTube without actually needing to adjust any of these two versions. And then I'm gonna go to TikTok, I'm gonna choose the music, write the captions, and I'm gonna upload it to both TikTok and YouTube, and maybe Instagram. Right, we got the company. I just finished editing and posting video on TikTok and YouTube. It's been there for about 20 minutes. So far it's going terrible. But that usually happens when you don't post for a week. TikTok is really punishing people who are not active on the platform. Before that I was posting every day and those videos were going viral. Right now I'm ready to accept my fate. But I think after a week of daily posts it's gonna get better. Now it's half past six. And I was supposed to make scripts for branded videos for TikTok. But just right now I received one urgent request for my video editing job, so I need to edit one video. But after that I hopefully will get to the script. I really don't like to write scripts, so <laughs> I'm trying to postpone it as much as I can. So that original little edit for the client turned out to be more than one hour of headaches. But I managed to finish it. And now it's 7.45. And I'm pretty hungry, so I'm gonna have a dinner and the uh, scripts for the branded videos I'm gonna postpone for after dinner. So let's go have a dinner. Alright, so it's 9.45 now. And I was basically having dinner for one hour and chilling out. But then uh, my clients got back to me and I got some unexpected revisions to do from the projects that I was working on today. And with that I spent another hour. So even though it's late I still need to get to those scripts from the branded video. So I'm gonna get into that and then hopefully I can be done before the midnight so I can go to sleep like a normal person. Alright, so it's half past 11 and I managed to write a script, it was a torture, but I managed to do it. It turned out pretty well, I used a little bit of chat GPT, a little bit of my, my humor, <laughs> and I think it's gonna turn out well. And that's about it, I guess I, I finished all my tasks today and it's 11.30 and I can maybe have a little chill and I'm gonna go to sleep. So thank you so much for watching this first long form YouTube video on my channel. And thank you so much for 78,000 subscribers. I mean, just because of you, this video was created. I felt it was appropriate to put out something else than just the Photoshop videos. Even though I'm completely fine making those tools are quite fun. You guys like them. So I'm gonna continue with them. But I'm gonna try to experiment a little bit more with these long form videos. I'm gonna try to do several formats and let's see what I like and let's see what you guys like. So let me know what you think about this and see you in the next one. Bye bye.